Father, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we thank you on this day. For this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we come into the month of knowing. We come into the knowledge of knowing, Father. Because I hear in my spirit the scripture that says, Apostle Paul says, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection. Help us to know you, God, in the power of your resurrection. In the powerful name of Jesus, may we come to know you in the power of your resurrection. May America come to know the God of our gods, the King of our kings, the Lord of our lords, who is above all, the great I am that I am, the creator of all things created, the was, the is, and the is to come, Jesus Christ, the same yes, today, today, and forever. He is eternal. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, who is in charge, who is in charge of all things that he created because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Heaven is your throne, Father, and the earth is your footstool. Step God, step, step God, step, step God, step in the powerful name of Jesus Christ and cause America to hear the sound of the stepping of your footprints, to see the images of your footprints across the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Show up and show out in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. And I pray for the footprints of the Lord our God to be seen across the land of Israel. In Jesus Christ's name, in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, in the Messiah's name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. We're blessed, the Lord, warriors of God, Derek, we're praying for America and time spent with the word. And as I'm uh, preparing to, to read a scripture, I heard in my spirit, pray for leadership alliance. Wow. Leadership alliance. And there's going to be, thank you, Holy Ghost. There's going to be leadership alignment. So as we pray for leadership alliance, there will be leadership alignment. Leadership alignment in the church of Jesus Christ, because it starts with us. Leadership alignment is coming to the church of Jesus Christ. Leadership alignment is coming to the leadership of this nation, this land of God that says in God we trust. Leadership, who Shuribabasi, alliance. That's our prayer. So first uh, Timothy chapter two, starting in verse one. I urge you first of all to pray for all people. See, that's one of our many job descriptions here as believers in the Lord. He is urging us to pray for all people. No matter what people have said, no matter what people have done, pray for them. And you know, I've learned something. He said to pray for your enemies. He didn't tell us how to pray for our enemies. So we pray even for those who have wrongfully despised us, ridiculed us, persecuted us, spoke all manner of evil against us falsely for the sake of our God and for the faith we have in our God. We pray for them. Amen. And then he says, ask God to help them. Wow. Intercede on their behalf. Now, this is talking about those in authority, those in leadership. Now, ask God to help them. So I'm praying today that God will help those in leadership that he has appointed for such a time as this to lead. We intercede on their behalf. This is why we pray for America. Sometimes it makes no sense. Sometimes we just don't feel like it. And our flesh will say, you know what? Just sleep in, forget this. But then the spirit of the Lord will quicken our spirit, my God. And the spirit, oh my God, would tell us, teach us how, my God, to strategically 
pray for this nation and what scriptures to read. So he says, intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Amen. Pray this way. Oh my God. Pray this way for kings. Kings represent once again who? Leadership. Amen. Pray this way for kings and all who are, here it goes, in authority. So we are called to pray for kings and all who are in authority. And it doesn't matter what kind of position of authority do we hold. We ought to pray for all of the kings and pray for those in authority. Why? So that we can live peaceful. <laughs> oh my God. So that we can live peaceful. We want peace. Pray. Hmm. Israel, you want peace? Seek the Messiah. Seek Yeshua. Seek Yahweh. Seek Elohim. Seek Yod Hey Vav Hey. Seek the God of glory. Seek Him. Wow. You see this? It's in the Word. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful. America needs peace. Pray, Americans. Pray, church in America. Pray. Because when we pray for the leaders, God gives them the wisdom they need for those who will listen with ears to hear. Those who adhere will follow through. And we will be able to live peaceful lives. You can tell what's happening because the church is not praying. A handful of us are. And remember, I always remind myself, one can put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand. That the, that the kind of legions of demons that have been released in our nation, released in the nation of Israel, released across the globe. If only the Lord would allow our eyes to see just a, a smidgen of what they are. I think some people would just faint because their eyes wouldn't be able to stand these things and what they actually look like. Yes, a few of us are praying. So daily we put a thousand demons to flight. When we come together two or more, we put 10,000 demons to flight. But what about the rest of the demons that are still roaming in the various states and, and countries and across the globe? You know that, thank you, Holy Spirit. The church must come away from its pageantry. The church must come away from its pageantry. From this linking up and hooking up and manipul oh my God, manipulating and compromising the gospel of Jesus Christ. The church of Yeshua, the church of the Messiah must come away from its pageantry and be serious about the call of God on our lives. Do our job description. I mean, we do our, our natural job. Some of us do it to the fullest. Some of us go above and beyond. Some of us just give it just enough time. Some of us do a mediocre job. Some of us do excellently. At the end of the day, we do the job, right? What about the calling of God? The occupying until he comes. Praying for the kings, huh? Who in all who in authority so that we can live peaceful lives. You're looking for answers? Answers to the problem in Israel? Answers to the problem in America? Fall on our knees, lift up our hands, stand up, lie down, sit down, however you do it. Pray. Pray. Because it says pray so that we can live peaceful lives. Because when we pray, not only does the Lord hear us, he answers us. He gives us the desires of our hearts. We want righteous leaders, don't we? Lord knows I do. Pray for them. Pray that the Lord would bring in righteous leaders. Because that's when the nation is happy and rejoice. Okay, let's read this and we'll pray. He says, um, pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives. Quiet lives. And not all this commotion, violence here, violence there, senseless unnecessary shooting here, unnecessary shooting there. Someone is sick in the head, carrying out demonic works. And then it, suddenly people want to take action when that happens. And then it, it, it dies down, it goes away. Then it go back to normal until the next event. Huh? 
We ought to wake up, America. Wake up, USA. This nation founded on Christians' principles that says in God we trust, let us now turn back to that God. Beg his mercy, ask his, his forgiveness, return to him, and then he will return to us as a nation. Pray for our leaders, and then we will begin to see mm, the evidence of his grace and start living peaceful lives, quiet lives, marked by godliness and dignity. What a word. Lives that are marked by godliness. What people can see, no, these are the American people. These people, they, they believe in, in their God. They trust their God. Their God always come through for them. Don't touch America. Don't come against America. Don't touch America's children. Don't touch America's military. Don't touch America's schools. Don't touch America's uh, church. Don't touch America's government. Don't touch America's media. Don't touch America's federal agency. Don't touch America, period. And don't you touch America's land. Don't you try to take America's land. And don't you dare try to touch America's food. Why? Because America is marked with godliness and dignity. Because America put God first. Put, puts God first. Amen. Singular. One God. America puts God first. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we pray that the same thing be done for Israel because everything that affects America affects Israel. Everything that affects Israel affects America. We have to wake up, church. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Now let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. I pray, Lord God, and with those standing in agreement with me, now we are putting thousands upon ten thousands of demons to flight right now out of our nation. And I pray, Father, for the peace within the walls of Jerusalem. I pray, Father God, that you will fight for the nation of Israel. Father God, throughout your scriptures, as we read your word, we have seen how many times the Israelites' enemies came against them to destroy them. And you fought for them. You fought for your people in the nation of Egypt with the pharaohs. You fought for your people with uh, evil and wicked kings like Abimelech and the Nebuchadnezzars, Father God. You fought for your people with evil and wicked rulers like the Ahabs and the Jezebels. Father God, you have fought for your people in times past. And we're asking you, Father, in Jesus' name, to fight for us now. Because we, we can't fight this battle, Lord. And you told us the battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. We are reminded of Je uh, uh, Jehoshaphat who told the people of Judah, he says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. Father, bring America back to believing the true prophets in the land. Bring America back to believing the true preachers, pastors, evangelists, teachers, apostles, the true ones, God, the authentic ones. Bring this nation back to believing the words that your true servants are speaking in our day. Bless our going out, bless our coming in. Order America's steps. We pray for those in authority. May your wisdom, your counsel, and your might be the portion of your righteous leaders. This we ask in the Messiah's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, warriors of God. Well, until the next time, let us be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and keep our armor glowing with the glory of the Lord. I just love this new revelation. Keep our armor glowing with the glory of the Lord. Well, until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord God Almighty bless you and me. Shalom, shalom America and shalom Jerusalem. Shalom.